Hi, everyone, and welcome to our virtual awards assembly here at Eagle View. Uh, we certainly would uh, uh, prefer to be in person with everyone to celebrate this event, but uh, we were not going to let that stop us from recognizing the accomplishments and the hard work uh, from our students uh, throughout the year. So we are going to work down through all of our awards, uh, just like we would if we were here. Uh, you'll hear a number of different presenters sharing a number of different um, categories, everything from academic to behavior and character. Uh, so we'll announce those uh, here now, and then students will be receiving their certificates and awards when they come into the building next week to gather their belongings. So um, we're excited to announce all of these categories, and we hope that you uh, watch the entire video because at the end, um, we'll also be revealing the Sword to Success uh, drawing winner for the, for the brand new laptop. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Pyle and she's gonna get us started here today. Hi, as Mr. Anderson said, I'm Mrs. Pyle and I coordinate many of the academic enrichment events that our school district graciously offers to the students. They provide great ways for the students to put their knowledge to the test, extend the learning beyond the classroom, as well as compete not only against their peers, but students from other districts as well. So I'm very honored to be here today to recognize our top place finishers in those events. I'm going to start with the Continental Math League. This is a competition for students in both fourth and fifth grade. They qualified to compete in this event uh, based on the scores on the standardized assessments that they take, as well as their grades and teacher recommendations. This year we had 66 students compete in the Continental Math League. In fourth grade, we had a tie in third place, Aiden Schaefer, and Maddox Cochran were our third place finishers. In second place was Sophie Al Bailey, and our first place finisher in fourth grade was Eden Hinton. In fifth grade, we also had a tie in third place. Violet Henry and Mia Clay were our third place finishers. In second place, we had Wesley Richard, and in first place, was Xander L. Bailey. Next is the National History B. So students in grades five can compete in the National History B, and this is where they're tested on both US and world history. The students first take a written test, which is the preliminary round, and the top scores in the preliminary round go on to compete in the school level competition, which is an oral competition. The Third place finisher in our National History B this year was Jackson Ross. In second place, it was Mia Clay. And our school champion in the National History B was Violet Henry. The finalists also take an online qualifying exam to see if they can qualify to compete at the regional competition. This year, we had three finalists qualify. They were Paige Hartman, Violet Henry, and Mia Clay. Next is the National Geography B. This is done very similarly to the way the National History B is done. The students first take a written test, the preliminary round, and they are tested on both US and world geography. The top scores in the preliminary round go on to compete at the school level competition, which is an oral competition. This year, our third place finisher was Violet Henry. In second place, it was Raisa Seslo, and our school champion was Connor Summers. Next is the Scripps National Spelling Bee. I hold grade level spelling bees for students in both grades fourth and fifth. The top spellers in each grade level go on to compete at the school level spelling bee. And we also determine our grade level spellers during the grade level spelling bees as well. The top spellers from each grade level go on to compete, as I said, in the school level spelling bee, and we had 21 spellers in our school level spelling bee this year. In third place was Trevor Schaefer. In second place was Maddox Cochran, and our school champion speller was Xander L. Bailey. Xander also went on to compete at the Western Pennsylvania Regional Spelling Bee in Pittsburgh. 
Our overall fourth grade top speller was Summer Lindemann, and our overall fifth grade speller was Xander Albailey. So congratulations to all of those students who were top finishers, and I just want to um, say how much I appreciate all of those students that elect to compete in these extra activities. It uh, shows that they are up and willing to rise above and beyond, so thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. George, and I teach computer skills to the third, fourth, and fifth graders. The Keyboard Kid Award goes to the third grader who comes to class ready to type, works hard, and has a great attitude. The Keyboard Kid Award goes to Bentley Garrity. The fourth grade award is presented to the student who is proficient in keyboarding and word processing. The online word wizard is Carly Zarmack. And the Computer Guru Award goes to the student who has excelled in keyboarding, word processing, and computer skills. This year's Computer Guru is Giovanna Lopez. Hi, I'm Mr. Ferris. I am the Social Studies teacher at Eagle View. And a third grade award is for the Cerebral Citizen in, in third grade. And this year, Elias Twerty is the winner. The fourth grade social studies award is the hardworking historian. And this year's winner is Sophie Spangler. And the fifth grade award is the radical researcher. And the winner is Connor Summers. The next award is the rock and writer. This goes to students who are creative writers. They engage their audience with strong word choice and interesting writing techniques. The third grade recipients are Max Shoemaker, Kendall Sanner, and Ella Thompson. Hi, I'm Mrs. Perry and I teach fourth grade ELA. And in fourth grade, the recipients for the Rock and Writer Award are Sophie L. Bailey, Paige Field, and Mackenzie Rankin. Congratulations to those students. Hi there, I'm Mrs. Lane. The fifth grade Rock and Writers for this year are Jackson Ross. Trevor Kuster, and Violet Henry. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Crone. I'm a third grade ELA teacher. I'm going to introduce the next award. The next award is the Word Wizard Award, and it's for the top three students of each grade level who have passed the most words this year, according to our Scholastic Achievement Manager. So for third grade, our winners are Quinlan Jones, Libby Martini, and Helena Hinton. Hi, Mrs. Craig here. Our fourth grade word wizards are Aiden Schaefer, Brianna Ramsey, and Emma Coddington. I'm Mrs. Bodie, and our fifth grade word wizards are Alina Swinger, Grace Riviera, and Wesley Richard. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hassel Road. I teach third grade STEM. And this next award is the Young Thomas Edison Award. This is awarded to students who have the highest science GPA. Um, the third grade recipients are Casey Stairs, Riley Critchfield, and Deacon Jakes. Hi, I'm Mrs. Knopf Snyder. And the three recipients for the Young Thomas Edison Award in fourth grade are Caleb Patton, Eden Hinton, and Sophie L. Bailey. Hello, I'm Mr. Walter. The fifth grade recipients are Xander Hauser, Peyton Cottonball, and Evan Twombly. Congratulations. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mrs. Chonko. I will be presenting the Marvelous Mathlete Award. This honor is given to three students with the highest GPA in math, 
The third grade recipients are Madeline Swinger, Helena Hinton, and Jacqueline Richard. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ukeri, and I'm pleased to present the marvelous mathletes in fourth grade. They are Emma Coddington, Evelyn Diesel, and Eden Hinton. Hi, I'm Mrs. Berkeybell. The winners for fifth grade were Michaela Pacola, Abigail Stanton, and Trevor Schaefer. Great job, fifth graders. Hello, I'm Miss Velarde, and I'm presenting the Titans of the Times Table Awards. Um, the following students showed mastery of math facts with both accuracy and speed. Um, and also did well in their freckle benchmarks. Um, for third grade, we have Harper Zelenak, Leah Rugg, and Liam Zimmerman. Hi, I'm Miss Heipel, and I'm announcing the winners for fourth grade, Maddox Cochran, Alexander McCoy, and Hannah Reese. Congratulations. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Sembauer. I'm presenting the fifth grade award for the Titans of the Times table. Our fifth grade winners are Alex Smith, Carter Krieger, and Havala Reese. Congratulations to everyone. Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Pyle and I am presenting the next award called the Budding Einstein Award. This is for the student who is most creative in engineering and scientific thinking. In third grade, we have Matthew Schaefer, Logan Pyle, and Anna Moon. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Gardner. Um, the fourth grade Budding Einstein Award goes to Connor Baroni, Alexander Lindemann, and Reagan Michael. Congratulations. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Flegel. The award for the Einstein in fifth grade goes to Abby Lynch, Ryder Shoemaker, and Jacob Hart. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bobby, and I am giving the award for the Regal Eagle. And these students best demonstrate our four hallmarks of our Sword of Success program. In third grade, we have Jillian Volk, Devlin Ankney, and Carson Shreedy. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Ms. Keg, and in fourth grade, our three Regal Eagles are Alexis Langham, Ethan Sarver, and Marissa Smith. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Zalanak. Our fifth grade Regal Eagles are Cole Lucas, Lily Ann Gasly, and Samuel Sheeler. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Matt. The next award is the Eagle Peace Prize. The students earn the award by being the peacekeepers among classmates during guided reading or guided math time. In third grade, the first award is presented to Aubrianne McAuliffe, Gage Upton, and Mesa Mischler. Congratulations. I am Mrs. Shetler, and the winners of the fourth grade Eagle Peace Prize are Olivia Henry, Leah Krause, and Jordan Smith. Hi, everyone. I am Miss Walker, and our fifth grade Eagle Peace Prize recipients are Liliana Berkebile, Ethan Spielman, and Weston Gary. Hello everyone, Mrs. Now here. I'll be presenting the Magnificent Musicianship Award, and this is an award for students that show noteworthy talent in the area of music. So for third grade, the award goes to Ella Thompson. For fourth grade, the award goes to Eden Hinton. And for fifth grade, the award goes to Wesley Richard. Congratulations. Hi. I'm Mrs. Glessner, and I'm presenting the award for the aspiring artists this year. The following students have shown that they are imaginative and that they think outside the box when they're creating artwork. For third grade, it is Aaron Pyle. Fourth grade, Leah Krause. And fifth grade, Alina Swinger. Congratulations. 
Hello, I'm Mr. Castillo. I'm giving the Sportsmanship Award. This award goes to the student who is gracious when winning or losing and is a supportive teammate in gym class. The third grade winner goes to Chase Lizbekic. Fourth grade award goes to Braden Hay. And the fifth grade award goes to William Hogger. We are up to our perfect attendance awards. So this award is recognizing every student um, who did not miss one second of school. So that means um, they did not show up one minute late and did not show up or did not leave one minute early all year, which is very, very impressive. And there are um, 425 kids. There's only a handful um, that, that met that mark. So uh, our recipients of perfect attendance throughout the year, Devin Bailey, Emma Coddington, Colby DeWitt, Lip Din, Kellen Hagens, Chad Schrock, Trevor Schaefer, Ethan Shaw, Marissa Smith, Nyla Smith, and Harper Trent. Congratulations to all of those students. And last but not least, uh, we are set to reveal our Soar to Success uh, drawing winner. So throughout the year, uh, students could choose to turn in seven SOAR tickets to the office, and that would earn them uh, one entry, uh, their name into the, uh, into the drawing. So um, one lucky winner is gonna walk away with a, a laptop whenever they come in to, to gather their belongings uh, next week. And when I went to, um, after I drew the winner, um, I counted all the individual, um, uh, those, the, those who have entered, and there were over 100 names uh, that were entered into the drawing. So that was a, a ton of good behavior uh, that they had um, um, displayed throughout the year to earn all of those tickets uh, to go in for the drawing. So um, and not to drag this out anymore, our winner of the laptop, the Sword of Success drawing, is Ashton Harmon. Congratulations, Ashton. I want to thank all of you uh, for um, all of your help, all of your support throughout the year. Um, we certainly, again, wish that we could uh, be sharing this moment with you here uh, in person like we typically do. But like I said, we did not want to miss out on the opportunity to recognize all of the uh, accomplishments of our kids throughout the year. So again, uh, students will be receiving all of their certificates and their awards uh, when they uh, return to school next week to gather their belongings. And I look forward to seeing uh, each and every one of you uh, when you come in the door. So to finish up, I'm gonna turn us to gallery view and the teachers are going to um, unmute themselves. We'll have a round of applause and we will finish up this assembly. Thank you again for joining us and congratulations to all students. Round of applause, please.